Hello, I'm Tomasz from the iPy team. In today's episode, we will show you how to debug Smart module using uh, UART cable. Uh, for this presentation, we are using iPy Smart IMX 8M Plus dev kit. Uh, it can be done on any of our dev kits. But uh, if you are not familiar with this dev kit, it's based on uh, NXP IMX 8M Plus quad core SOC with integrated uh, NPU, ISP and GPU and uh, it uh, has 15 years availability and uh, wide industrial temp options so it's a solid offering for any IoT, AIoT application. So let me introduce to you my colleague Joey who will show us how to do it. Thank you Thomas. Hi, I'm Joey and today I will show you how to use cheap and ubiquitous USB dongles like this to read the lock from the IMX8 MP. So for this, you need a USB dongle like this one over here. They're really easy to find online and they're not that expensive. These USB dongles usually have three pins labeled ground, RX for receive and TX for transmit. You need to connect these three pins to the corresponding three pins, but switch the RX and TX around so that the receive connects to the transmit on the other side and vice versa. So now we've connected the USB dongle to our laptop and we started Putty, which is a very popular client for your connections on Windows. If you're on Linux, you've got a lot of alternatives such as Minicom, but also Putty. So now we can connect the IMX 8MP to power. And immediately you will see that the IMX 8MP starts outputting serial data that we can receive on our laptop. If everything has gone correct, you should now be prompted for a username. This username is root. For IMAX 8 mp no password will be prompted further. For other modules, a password might be required. This password is 80link123. Can you say again the password? 80link123. Oh, that's easy to remember. So, thank you for watching the video and uh, thank you Joy for introducing how to do it. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please uh, like the video, subscribe to our channel. You can find more instructions uh, below the video and also check out our website ipi.wiki. Thank you.